we have a inhomogeneous poorly conducting medium which is filled between the capacitor plates and it's uh, it's given that it's its permittivity and resistivity both vary from one end to another how they vary they have not given in the problem so we don't know how the function changes but at the surface it is epsilon 1 and rho 1 and the end surface it is epsilon 2 and rho 2 we have given a current i which is flowing through it and we need to find the total extraneous charge in the given medium so extraneous extraneous charge whenever there is a change in medium is given by e2 epsilon 2 minus e1 epsilon 1 is equal to sigma by epsilon not so we have derived this in previous problem so you can see there how we came to that so here this is not a representation of this this is just that if you have a boundary between two mediums then the charge developed on the surface on the boundary surface is given as this so now let's come to our problem which is this cylinder so because the epsilon and rho is changing everywhere let's take a small element of with dx and find what is the charge on that element the extraneous charge and then we can integrate it to find the total charge so from our first equation so this for the small distance dx so this will be the left side will become d of e into epsilon so d of e epsilon is equal to right side is sigma by epsilon not or dq by a epsilon not so this is the small charge which is developed on this surface so we integrate both sides and we so inside this is d of e epsilon so we only need to bother about the initial and the final values of field and epsilon and right side of course zero to q and we need to find this value of q so we simplify and we get this a epsilon not into e2 epsilon 2 minus e1 epsilon 1 so e2 e1 are not given in the problem but rho is given and current is given so from that we can find the value of e using our current current density formula so i is equal to ja and j i can write as e by rho so now i have found the term e2 so e2 is rho 2 into i by a and e1 is rho 1 into i by a so if i put those values i will come out and our answer will be q is equal to epsilon not i rho 2 epsilon 2 minus rho 1 epsilon 1 our final answer